year. So we're out in Chilliwack today. We're at uh, Chilliwack Heritage Park for the vintage swap meet and auction. This is the first time I've been to this event. It's an annual event. So I'm hoping to find some parts for the current bikes that I have and see what it's all about. All right, let's go on in. Don't worry, I'm gonna put you on camera. Home. <laughs> so you have to buy tickets or okay. Oh, you can get shirts. Maybe I should get a shirt for that today. I have a feeling most of this stuff is going to be street bikes and probably not dirt bikes, but you never know. It should be funny to see one of my bikes sitting in here. I thought about buying one of these. I had, there was one on Craigslist and it went for a really good deal. I think it was only a thousand bucks. The guy just wanted to get rid of it just to have one, but I got nowhere to put it. These are classic bikes, all these old 70s CRs. Sure got a lot of them, man. Eh? Holy cow. Hey, there's my CR250. It'd be kind of funny if it was mine, eh? No, uh, it's not. It's not. Looks just like it, though. Tank needs to be sanded down and restored. Rims are sure in good shape, though. That's an original uh, clutch cover, too. Brand new. I wonder if he's even using it. They rot out, right? So you got to be uh, really careful. Most people change them out to the 80, 87 and later clutch cover so they don't rot. Yeah. Somebody's got one in the back of their truck out there in the parking lot, too. Yeah. My old bike. That your yeah, personal yeah, personal bike? I oh, did yeah? yeah? I just did one a while back. Yeah. I bought it sold at the Dale about probably about six years ago. Oh yeah. Exactly the same rules. Yeah. I'm doing an 85 right now. Nice. And I got an 85 CR500. I'm doing right after oh, I that. Had an 84 CR500. Yeah. yeah. Crazy bike. Terrifying. Oh, yeah. I had it on a popcorn last weekend. It scares the crap oh, out of me. Yeah. It would be nice to have the space to store stuff like this, to have your own little... Probably one of the ugliest bikes, in my opinion, of all time, <laughs> are these Kawasaki's, but holy crap, is that ever nice for a 500. Somebody took some time to restore that one up. Either that or they was never ridden. Look at that swing arm on that thing. It, I think it's been redone. But wow. I bet you they don't even ride it. This one just sits. Yeah. I don't know why that fender is compared to mine. Way wider. I think I, I might have to get a different fender for mine. Being as mine was aftermarket, I don't know if it's uh, the proper width for my bike. I'm going to get real muddy. Four. 
No. These are old. I wonder if that's stock or if the guy made it. It's probably stock. I don't know if I'd be caught riding something like that around. That's interesting though. I wonder if, I wonder if, uh, I, I mean, I didn't watch the old Batman series a lot, but I wonder if they actually had one like that, isn't it? The Bat Cycle 1966, maybe it is. Mostly street bike stuff. I was hoping to find some dirt bike stuff. Alright, so it wasn't what I expected. Um, I was kind of hoping for a lot more dirt bikes to be here. Um, there were a lot of restored bikes. Uh, you know, 70s, not a lot of 80s stuff. Um, I'm more into the 80s and newer stuff. It's a good show for people that are coming out to actually look at real vintage bikes, but uh, not for myself who I was looking for something more in uh, 80s to 90s era all right so that's it for today out here at the chilliwack vintage swap meet and auction gonna be heading home now hopefully to do some work on the cr250 and then tomorrow or sometime this week gonna be going out on the cr500 and the kx500 to pop them all right thanks for watching